This is The Orup. I am Vanessa James. Here are the stories making headlines today. A somber mood permeated the air at the St. Andrew Technical High School on Monday as classmates and friends of Omar Leng mourned the shooting death of the promising footballer. Leng was fatally shot in a drive-by on Charles Street in West Kingston on Friday, April 22. He was celebrating his 18th birthday when he was shot. Leng's grief-stricken colleagues and football teammates openly wept on the school compound Monday morning while being consoled by visiting members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Inspector Tanisia Johnson, National Safe Schools Unit Coordinator, promised to find those responsible for his killing. A 30-year-old delivery man who was among a group of people demolishing a house in Denham Town was shot dead by a gunman on West Road, Kingston 12 on Sunday. He has been identified as Demar Foot, otherwise called Carlos, of a Denham Town address. Reports from the Denham Town Police are that about 5.50 p.m., Foot was among a group of people demolishing a house when a lone gunman opened fire hitting him. The police were alerted and he was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. The other people escaped unhurt. Jamaica National Bank issued a statement Sunday evening imploring the public to be on the lookout for what it says are several fake Instagram accounts that have copied the look and feel of the official JN Bank account on the platform. The bank said some of these fake accounts have reposted some of its original posts and have been reaching out to persons to solicit banking details as well as attempting to redirect them to our website link. JN stated that these activities have been reported to Instagram and reminded customers that the bank operates only one official account on the platform which is at JN Bank Limited. It also reminded customers that JN Bank will never request sensitive personal information such as online banking passwords via direct messages or email. A 50-year-old St. Andrew man was murdered in his Stony Hill home by unknown assailants on Sunday. He has been identified as Larison Harrison, otherwise called Larry, a tiler of Brooks Level Road, Stony Hill, St. Andrew. Reports from the Constant Spring Police are that about 8.50 p.m., Harrison was inside of his house when he was pounced upon by gunmen who opened fire hitting him. The police were alerted and he was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. In international news, billionaire Elon Musk has reached an agreement to acquire Twitter for approximately $44 billion, the company said. The New York Times reported that Twitter and Musk spoke Sunday and into the early hours Monday less than two weeks after the billionaire first revealed a 9% stake in the platform that he uses to promote his interests, attack critics, and opine on social and economic issues to his more than 83 million followers. Musk said last week that he had lined up $46.5 billion in financing to buy Twitter, putting pressure on the company's board to negotiate a deal. This has been The Orup. Catch up with these and other stories on JamaicaObserver.com. I am Vanessa James.